What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video today, a rad movie review for a film called Brain Damage from 1988. This is one of those films that I'll tell you right now is like, I've always seen the cover. I remember even seeing this, I believe in the video store as a child and even scrolling through Tubi and like, you know, the streaming services, just seeing this one, but always passing over it, always just skipping it, never clicking play and I finally clicked play and was very pleasantly surprised. So today you're gonna hear my thoughts on this film, the positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm gonna send you all home. So let's do this, roll it. So Brain Damage is a horror comedy film from 1988, directed by Frank Henenlotter, and if you don't know him, he's famous for doing films like Basket Case and Frankenhooker, so you know what you're going to kind of get when you come to his films. Some very dark comedy with some cool practical effects and some very interesting stories, so that's like all the kind of stuff that he brings to the table in his movies and this is one like I said I had said in the intro just I always skipped it I just never rented it or I never clicked play on Tubi or anything like that and like finally I bit the bullet and I watched it and man this was so fantastic so let's discuss the positives right away. One key positive is that I love the fact that he takes a very simple story in the terms of addiction you know being addicted to a drug or you know alcohol or something like that very simple concept like that and turning it into this crazy kind of horror comedy with a little bit of sci-fi mixed in it as well where we have Brian our main character who ends up finding out that he has a parasite that latches on to his like you know the back of his neck kind of on his stem like right there on his spinal cord and leeches like a euphoric drug into his brain but in return the parasite needs you know Brian to bring him humans so that way he could feed on their brains so that's the whole point and the parasite actually has a voice and has a real practical effect so it's got like that claymation you know look to it and the, the way it's designed in like the late 80s man like the practical effects and people's just inspiration and their ideas like stretched you know further like when I watch 80s films I always feel like I'm watching films where I'm like those creators they thought the world was possible anything was possible and you can see by their creations on screen and yeah for me Elmer that's the name of the parasite he actually has a name his name is Elmer and yeah he's hilarious and one of the also one of the best parts of this movie adding to that with the practical effects the kills are gory as hell and I love that and it's all realistic practical effects and like I said even though you know it's from 88 and some of it look you can tell it's like a headpiece attached to someone when Elmer attacks their head and is trying to eat through their brain but it just looks so cool because it's a real actor and they built the piece that attaches to their head with him on it and they're trying to rip Elmer off and he's like tearing into their brain so yeah this film is just fantastic for many ways like I said taking that story such a simple concept of addiction which hits home for me you know being like someone that who had a beat addiction and went through it and stuff it's very tough and I like the fact that he was able to take that concept add in this crazy horror you know sci-fi thing of this parasite attached to this man and also having these awesome practical effects that are gory as hell it just really does keep making like the gore hound in my heart like it really makes me happy. Another fantastic thing about this film is the dark comedy. This is a film that yes has some serious subject matter and some hardcore deaths in it but the dark comedy lands. It's just as funny as gory and grotesque as it is. It's just as funny and I love that. That's what's really cool. So this for me being a really hardcore fan of horror, uh, horror comedy that's right up my alley because I love when you mix some of the most dark things in in cinema with some really funny stuff and like are able to make light of those situations man it's just really you know goes a long way and like having Frank Henenlotter as in the directing chair that helps because he's this is his wheelhouse this is what he knows how to do like if you've seen the films like Basket Case 1 and 2 and you've seen Frank and Hooker you know that this is his wheelhouse and he knows exactly what he's doing when he takes control of a film like this and this is a film that is very much like a surreal fever dream trip like with all the psychotropic things that happens when you know Elmer leaks the drug into Brian's brain and we see these crazy crazy colors and these crazy dream sequences and you sometimes don't even know what's real and what's you know actually happening or what's fake and as a dream so it's it's really awesome it's a surreal trip an interesting film that's got awesome special effects and I think the acting does 
fit the film. It's campy, it's silly, it's fun, and the actor who plays Brian, this is in fact the first film that he ever starred in, like big studio release type film. And in terms of mixed and negatives, let's talk about some mixed and negatives. Is really There really isn't that many for me. I had a really fun time with this. There are some aspects of this film that feel dated for sure. And you can tell when you watch it, it is an 88 film, like from 1988. So you can definitely tell there are some dated aspects to this movie. And it's only about an hour and 25 minutes. So I, could, I would say I could add some time to this. I would have added maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And that would have made it even longer, even more fun for me. Because I was having such a fun time, you know. Elmer and Brian have this great chemistry on screen. The special effects are really off the charts. So yeah, basically just increasing the time length and that there are some facts of this or some aspects of this film that are dated and, you know, could be updated. Like I think they can definitely do a probably like a modern type version of this film and it would be even more fantastic if you got the right writers and the right directors for this film you could really nail a film like this and i miss films that are kind of like this that are just these crazy bombastic wild ideas you know malignant kind of went into that territory but i don't think malignant really had a true identity but yeah brain damage is one of those films that i you know it has a central theme a true identity, and it's executed to perfection, I believe. So in terms of a rating in my book, Brain Damage is going to get an 8.5 out of 10. I can't wait to return to this film. This is one that I'm going to rewatch probably around the Halloween time, which is coming up really soon, probably in October or something like that. I'm going to watch this film again. Like, it's one of those movies. Like, it's not a film that I'm going to wait to return to. I'm eager to return to it already because I had that much fun with it. And it's currently streaming on Tubi. That's where you can check it out for free if you want to peep this movie it's really awesome and i highly recommend this film brain damage 1988 80s was such a good like I said decade for films because like i said the the creators their minds like their ideas it just the the it was impossible endless you know there was anything was possible so i love that time of the you know the cinema the 80s is one of my favorites but be sure to like subscribe and have that notification bell poke so you're notified Anytime I post a video because be sure you're staying tuned to the channel because I'm going to be doing my birthdays my special birthday video where I'm going to be ranking my top 34 horror films of all time and the reason I'm choosing 34 is because I'm in fact turning 34 this year so I was like let's do a fun ranking video for the channel so on August 16th make sure like I said you're subscribed everything liked notified all that stuff because on the 16th I will be dropping that, you know, ranking for 34 of my all-time favorite horror classics. Thanks for sticking around with me all, and you always know what's most important. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.